Hello everyone, this is your good old neighbor Nick Hicks, Spider-Verse, and Frozen 2, and Kim Possible Fan 2001, and welcome to my another movie review, and I really hope you enjoy your afternoon, for me, it's decent. Today, I am doing a movie review of the one film that people don't even know about, and don't even know if it exists, which is another than Bill Wolf, movie that based on the book that Miss Wills read, and Kim Adio of 2007. Anyway, enough for the ado. Let's talk about this. Let's talk about this film for the very first time. Anyway, so let me tell you my story about this film. I was going to watch this film, so after I watched, so honestly, guys, I didn't even watch the trailer. I saw a few advertisements for this film back in two thousand seven when I was watching. When I was watching television, and when I saw a promo of the movie called Bill Wolf, and I was like, uh, it's from the director who brought you some of the classic film like Forrest Gump or even The Poor Express. Do I um do I even want to watch a movie about Bill Wolf? And to be honest, this is my very first time. I mean, hearing about the hearing about the word Bill Wolf because I have never heard. Who's Bill Wolf is, and I'm probably you guys don't even know who's Bill Wolf is. Well, Bill Wolf is a movie. I mean, it's a character that based on the book. Because anyway, so let me tell you my story. And boy, the story is not private. Is honestly, guys, honestly, guys, let's continue before I set you. Anyway, so while I was at the high school for second and third period, and Miss Woods was reading a book called Bill Wolf, and I was like. What the heck is Bill Wolf? And so yeah, it kind of reminds me of the Bill Wolf version of the Lord of the Rings, to be honest. And anyway, and I was really so in for that. And he, on the guys, and yes, yeah, sure, even I don't even pay attention what Bill Wolf is. And don't worry, I just keep my headphones, headphones on, and with my, and with my little ear off. I mean off because I can hear um I can hear who is Bill Wolf is and only in the ending it was very really sad. This has to be one of the mel I'm sorry, this has to be one of the most saddest ending I have ever I have ever read in the book, period. And anyway, and on the guys and Miss Wolf said, We are about to watch a movie called Bill Wolf and I was like, Oh boy, such an uh, oh boy, just in time watching Bill Wolf. Well blame it on sign me in Anyway, so after I watched the whole movie called Bill Wolf, and thank goodness to Lord that we got finished it up. And honestly, guys, and I swear, if this film would be a like three hour long, I will watch my crap. Anyway, honestly, guys, so after I watched the movie called Bill Wolf, which is a uh, honestly, guys, which is a uh, which is a two thousand seven animated movies. I mean, back in two thousand seven, the same year of Kim Puzzle graduation, aka one of my favorite finale. I mean, finale episode for a television show, period. And I might do a review of that on September 7th, so stay tuned for that. Anyway, so after I watched, so after I watched a movie called Bill Wolf, I have to say, I think this film is a very underrated, and I actually really enjoyed this film. And yes, yeah, sure, this film has some couple flaws, like, on the guy, like, Bill Wolf himself was, on the guy's, was not a character that I do remember in the book because in the book Bill Wolf killed by peoples, but in this film it can shows that this Bill Wolf, I mean hashtag not my Bill Wolf, he just I mean he just really unlikable and yeah sure he's PG thirteen and every PG thirteen movie don't have I mean I mean don't have to have a likable characters but the biggest problem of the movie it has to be Bill Wolf himself was really was really out of the characters and I definitely agree with Miss Woods because even Miss Woods do not like Bill Wolf I mean Bill Wolf in the film and yes and yes I understand the movie called Bill Wolf and Bill Wolf himself could have been a very 
really, a really interpreted, I mean, I, I mean, interpreted characters. But, but now, I just think, I just, honestly, I just think this, I mean, honestly, I just think this version of Bill Wolf is not my Bill Wolf. Hashtag not my Bill Wolf, to be honest. Indie, as far as I can get for this film, it has to be the ending. Man, I was really disappointed of the ending because this is hand down. This is hand down is one of the most disappointing ending I have ever seen in the animated film. Because no other animated film will be such a wet down because I was having fun watching this film. So after I saw the ending and I was like, seriously, this is how you end? And this film was originally going to get a sequel. But when this film came out, a lot of people kind of got, I mean, kind of had mixed review in the box office. And don't worry, people, this film did not bomb the box office because I thought this film bombed the box office. So after I work at the, honestly, honestly, guys, so, honestly, guys, so, uh, honestly, guys, so after I work at the research, I mean, research after I, get, I, I mean, at, uh, honestly, after I got started with my movie review in the penalty, honestly, in the penalty, this film didn't bomb, but, uh, honestly, guys, it's just not nearly accessible I mean, they, uh, I mean, do they thought it was, and because anyway, it's from the same studio who brought you the Polar Express, or even Mars Needs Mom, <laughs> the worst movie from that studio. Thank goodness to Lord that I mean, thank goodness to Lord that movie bombed the box office. But at the same time, I just feel so sorry for that one studio who bought you the Polar Express, or even Mars Needs Mom. Please don't talk about that because that film is honestly that film is nothing like a butt crack. Honestly, guys, the main reason why I say that because I, uh, it has to be the animator. I mean, I mean the animator made our girl have a huge fun guy. It's even on the guy is even worse than Nick Minaj. But God, anyway, honestly, guys, let's not talk about that. It's really disgusting. Anyway, and honestly, guys, and even this film has some flaws, but those flaws do not. I, I will repeat, do not give away for my enjoyment for this film. Anyway, enough for the ado, let's talk about how underrated this film is, and don't worry, this is not my favorite film from 2007. Enchantress and Ratatouille, or even Kim Possible Final a final Episode is a lot better than Bill Wolf, honestly. Overall, I mean, anyway, enough for the ado, let's get started, shall we? Honestly, guys, I really enjoy the story because, honestly, guys, uh, honestly, guys you're sure this film is a lot different than the books. But let's be honest, honestly, guys, let's compare this film into the book. The book... It's a really solid book. I mean, I, I mean, a very solid story about Bill Wolf. Because in the ending, the ending, Bill Wolf died. And yes, Bill Wolf died in this film, but he died in the ship. And I was like, eh, do I remember that in the book? Yeah, of course not. Anyway, honestly, guys, this is what Hollywood do all the time. Because they just don't want to fall off the soul material, and they always change it up for a last minute. And the only guy, and there you go, you got Bill Wolf. And people was kind of liking this film, but at the same time, this film got a seventy one percent on Watch Tomato for goodness' sake. I mean, I mean for crying out loud, honestly, <laughs> for crying out loud. Anyway, and some of the character, and yeah, sure, honestly, guy, and yeah, sure, even Bill Wolf himself was really unlikable. And here's some character that I do really. That I do really like. Like, granted all, I gotta say, but what the heck am I watching? Am I watching Bill Wolf? Or am I watching an animated version of the last version of the media? Guys, do you remember watching that film? No, of course not. Anyway, that film is the most boringest horror movie from last year. And I might do... Honestly, I might do a full video why I think that way. Because more I think about the film, the more I just think it's evil worse than most of a horror film that came out. Like a boogeyman and all that kind of goody cook. Anyway, and Ethan Hopkins. I mean, and Ethan Hopkins. Yup, Ethan Hopkins. My, I mean, I, I mean, my man, Ethan Hopkins. I mean, Ethan Hopkins as a keen... He's in this film, and like I said, he did a really solid job, and at least he's right better than his character for Transform of the Last Night. Ugh, I don't want to talk about it. AKA one of the second, sorry, AKA one of the third worst, I mean, worst Transformers movie I've ever seen in my life. Anyway, and uh, on to guy number two is Age of Extinction, and number two is Revenge of the Fallen. Ugh, the most hilarious bad Transformers movie yet. I mean, ever, to be honest. Anyway, anyway, guys. 
Aoya Joey, the same actress that she was in the Kung Fu Panda movies. Or even she was in a all the guys. Or even she was in a. I mean she. Uh, I mean she was in the uh, Internals and she was in the um, Maleficent movie from 2014, which came out, which came out like nine years ago. And this year is going to turn ten years old, which I am not going to talk about that film. And please, I'm saying please do not mention that film. Or else, I mean, or else Maleficent for Sweet Beauty will get you at night time. Anyway. And anyway, and her as Grindel's mother, I mean Grindel's mother, she did a really solid job. And yeah, sure, on the other guy, and yeah, sure, her performance is not as good as Tiger from Kung Fu Panda or even her characters from the Eternals. I mean, watch those two as my favorite performance for Annie and Joey, which I love Annie and Joey. Annie and Joey is such an attractive. Uh, I mean, the attractive actress nowadays because on the guy, she is really beautiful every time you're working at her. And her as Grendel's mother, and yeah, sure, even her crying can be really annoying sometimes. But anyway, uh, on the guy, on top of that, she did a really solid job in the animation. Holy crap. This is hand down, it's one of the best animation from the studio who bought you the Polar Express. I gotta be honest because this film is kind of remind me, it's kind of remind me I'm watching the Polar Express. Why? Because those two films made by the same studio. I just don't understand why, I tw I'm sorry, on the guy, I don't understand why that one user, which I'm not gonna talk about him anymore, I mean, give this film like a one star. You have, I mean, you have, I mean, you have got to be kidding me right now. Like, are you serious right now? On the guy, are you serious right now? Giving the I mean giving this film a like, one stars why I probably it's be, I, honestly, I'm probably it's because that he's gonna say the animation is ugly. Okay, if you hate this film, it can show that honestly, if you hate this film, it can show that you hate Poor Express because the Poor Express have the I, I mean have I, I, honestly I gotta tell you right now you troll band you got a fan knucklehead I gotta tell you right now the Poor I mean the Poor Express have the same animation just like Bill Wolf. Are you that stupid? Are you out of your mind? Come on man. Anyway guys, on the and doy, this is on doy on doy. Oh last night I did a last video of him and this is the last time I'm gonna talk about him or call him out because I'm getting sick of Tayo here I mean hearing I uh, I mean hearing of his bull crap. And if I see a one more notification about him, I might I mean I might bring it back. But I'm trying not to. I'm trying to stay away from him. Goodbye. Anyway, in the climax, the climax was very entertaining. Like, um, like Gwyneth's mother, I, I mean, I, I mean, like Gwyneth's mother, I mean, I, I mean, voiced by Anna Joey, I mean, I mean, I turned into like a golden dragon. And on the guys, and on the guys, I will talk about the ending later. Let's talk about the scene when Gwyneth destroyed the people. OMG, this is hand down is one of the most, uh, honestly, this is, has to be one of the most violent and disturbing scene I have seen in the animated film because that scene when Grinnell destroyed the people and when you see a female screaming go, Aah! oh my goodness, that female scream, oh my goodness, that's hilarious, bam man. <laughs> anyway, honestly, that scene was really dark. It shows that every single animated film are not for kids, honestly, and people, can you please stop saying animation is for kids? Which that is total bull crap because there are on guy, on guy, do a on the do a mini animated film that are not for kids like Sausage Party or the South Park movie or even the Simpson movie or even the Bob Burgers movie or even this film. I mean this film, Bill Wolf. Now guess what? Every animated film are not for kids. Stop saying that and make yourself look stupid. Anyway, and now let's talk about one of the most disappointing ending of this film. Much is now than the ending of this film. Why they end this film? I was really disappointed, and I was really wish I was really wish that the ending would I, I, I mean would be even sadder. But nope, Bill Wolf died in the fire of ship. Not in the crypt. He died in the fire of the ship. Why the golden gore? Kissing him. I gotta say that is the most disappointing and such a wet down ending I have ever seen in an animated film. Like seriously, that's how you end. This is how you end a Bill Wolf death. And Ethan Hopkins characters did not do anything about it. He was just staring. Or I I mean he was just staring so serious and the golden <clears throat> and the golden him I mean cover up and boom that's the end of the movie. 
I was like, really? That's how you end? But top of that, so overall, guys, Bill Wolf is a very underrated and a very guilty pleasure. And yeah, sure, him as Bill Wolf is not, I mean, it's not exactly just like in the book. And some of the scene can be really boring, honestly. But at the same time, on the guy, this film has, um, uh, I mean, has uh, one of the most awesome, con I mean, awesome concept for an animated film. And this film has, uh, I mean, has some awesome concept. Like, overall, I think Bill Wolf is a very underrated, what a, I mean, what a, I mean, what a, um, what a, a awesome story, really likable character, well, except Bill Wolf, because him as Bill Wolf was really unlikable. Didn't, I, I mean, didn't feel like. It didn't feel like that's the character that you feel justified and, he, and you feel felt bad for him. But nope. But nope. Absolutely not. You don't. Anyway, and the action scene. The action scene looks amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Anyway, and this is has to be is one I'm sorry, this is has to be is one of my top five favorite movies that based on the book. I gotta be honest, this film is way better than Onimus Foul. <laughs> More like Onimus Tud. And thank goodness a lot of that film is removed on Disney Plus. <laughs> take that, I mean I mean take that you bob just like your crap pool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, I'm giving Bill Wolf a hmm. How am I gonna give this film? Because I do um I do have some feel flaws about this film because this film is not masturbated at all. But honestly, nah. Let's give this film like a nine out of ten. I love it, and this film deserves a seal of Nick King or something. Man, I have fun to do this review on Bill Wolf for the very first time. So you guys, that was my movie review on Bill Wolf. A.K.A. I mean, A.K.A. the movie that based on the book that Miss Rose read. And don't worry, this video is for Miss Rose Crafts. If you're watching this, this I mean, this video is for you. And thank and thank you so much for I mean, thank you so much for giving us a I mean, giving us a movie that we should watch after we read the book. And this film was originally a Wonder Brother movie, but doing to Paramount, we really want to I mean, we I mean we. I mean, we really, really want the film to be, uh, um, um, to be in the Paramount Plus, and that's why they decided to put this film as Paramount, and this is a Paramount movie, not Warner Bros. movie, because if I, honestly, guys, if it's, honestly, if, honestly, if it's, honestly, if this film a Warner Bros. movie, I would say that this is my favorite animated movie by Warner Brothers. But no, it's not. It's Paramount. And I gotta be honest, this is hand down is one of my favorite Paramount animation I have ever seen. Because this film was really amazing. Was really unique, honestly. It was really dark and very serious. Which, honestly guys, that's what the animated... I'm sorry. That, honestly, that's what the animated movie is all about. Because the animated movie is not all about poop joke and fart joke and make your movie as a cool... As a cool kid, homie. No, 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 no. I'll make myself look stupid. Anyway, the anime, I mean, animated movie is all about has some uh, mature, uh, I mean, having a mature moment, a very serious dark tone, and trying to be like Christopher Nolan, to be honest. And anyway, and that's what the animated movie is all about. Not all about poop joke and fart joke and make a movie as a kid. I mean, I mean, and the cool kid, homie. Oh, no, please don't do that. Please, uh, honestly, please do not say homie or else, uh, <laughs> or else I'll make yourself look stupid. Anyway, if you enjoy this video, if you want to see more of this, very first time when I talk about Bill Wolf in this video, please, I highly recommend you, you hit the subscribe button, turn on notification, and share the video with your whole family. And people, if you don't like my review on Bill Wolf, I highly recommend you, you go to your troll band together, fans, that has one knucklehead, and give this film like a one star. Like, seriously, why on earth, I'm sorry, why on, I'm sorry. Honestly, uh, honestly, I already know that people are all getting sick of tired of it, which honestly, guys, this is the last time, but who in the white mind, who in the white mind want to give this film like one stars? Oh, 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 it's because of the animation, it's ugly. Well, I got, uh, well, <laughs> well, troll band together, fan that one. Uh, honestly, I got a news flash. This film, I mean, this film made the same studio though who bought you the poor express, so in your face. Anyway, have a great night, everyone, and I see you guys next time. And once again, yadios and good night.